a few days ago, I got an email saying that I passed the CompTIA Size Plus beta exam, which I took in November 2022. I'm now going to share with you what I did to prepare for my exam, so you can hopefully pass yours. Before I get into that, there are two videos I've made which you may find useful in your preparation. The first video is my review of the CompTIA Size Plus beta exam, which I made a day after I've taken the exam. The second is a video detailing my general approach to taking certification exams. To give you a quick introduction to my background, I have a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, I am CompTIA Security Plus certified, and I worked at a cybersecurity company for a year. Although I took the exam in November 2023, I actually started studying in January of that year. My approach to studying for certification exams includes watching slash listening to video courses, reading books, and taking practice exams. All the resources I mentioned here will have a link to them in the description. For this exam, I used two different video courses. The first is Mike Chappell's Prepare for the CompTIA Sizer Plus Certification Exam, found on LinkedIn Learning. I would listen to this course in the background while I would travel on public transport to and from work. The second course is Jason Diaz's CompTIA Sizer Plus Complete Course on Udemy. For this course, I watched it with a notebook in hand and filled it in with notes I took while watching this course. The book read was CompTIA Size Plus Study Guide by Mike Chappell. I bought the Kindle version of it as it's always cheaper than the physical copy. It comes with practice exams which give you a good idea for which sections of the book you should put more focus into. I watched, listened to, and read these videos and books at the same time. If I spend too much time doing one of these things, I start to get bored. I like to go from intently watching, listening, and writing notes from the video course to then go off and read from the book. It's a nice change of pace. Once I got through the book and videos, I started taking practice exams. The first practice exams I took were Jason Dion's ones on Udemy. Although his practice exams say you need to get 90% on them to pass, I was only getting around 70%. I found that Jason Dion's practice exams are far more difficult than the actual CompTIA exam. I also used the CompTIA Size Plus practice exams by Mike Chappell, which I also bought the Kindle version of. These ones I found to be not as difficult as I was getting around 80% of them, but I still think they're a bit more difficult than the actual CompTIA exam. To go back to what I said in the beginning of the video, I took the exam in November 2022, but I actually started studying in January of that year. When I started studying, I was actively doing so until around the end of March. Around this time, I wanted to book an in-person exam, but the nearest date I could take was in July. As there wasn't any reason for me to pass the exam, except for me wanting to do it, I decided to not book the exam. That was until I heard about the beta exam which was coming at the end of 2022. With it only costing $50 to take it, I thought I may as well just go for it. Even though there was a large gap between when I stopped studying and when I took the exam, I was still able to pass. To pass the exam, you don't need an in-depth understanding of every topic. You just need to know the basics of each topic and be able to differentiate between the topics which are similar. If you haven't done so already, check the two videos I mentioned at the beginning of the video. The first video gives information about what to expect between Sizer Plus version CS0002 and the new CS0003. The second video gives my approach to how I study for certification exams and why I do so. I hope I've helped you in figuring out how you should study for the CompTIA Sizer Plus exam. If I did help, please give a like and subscribe. And lastly, Good luck on your exam.